we're going to make an open face grilled turkey sandwich. Okay, first thing we do is butter it. Okay, I'm going to do four of them right now. So we're going to be putting four of them together. You can see basically what I'm doing here. I'm buttering my bread. Try to cover the entire low, a slice of bread so that you get even out to the edges covered in butter. It doesn't have to be real thick, but enough to moisturize the bread so it doesn't just burn. Okay. And then we're going to pop that into a 450 degree broil oven. So I've set my broiler at 450 degrees. Now I'm going to put the toast in and let it toast for a little bit before I do anything else. Okay, we've had these in toasting now for about four, four or five minutes. You can see they've got a nice golden brown patina on some of them. The edges are at least good and crisp. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take some sliced turkey. I like thin sliced turkey, as thin as I can get it. However, you don't always end up with that. But this is processed turkey. This is, this is good. It's a little thicker than I like. But what we'll do is we'll layer a few pieces on here like so. About three or four slices per slice of bread. Uh, if you don't have that much on here, it's kind of thin. Okay, and you'll notice I fold these up the first couple of them. That's to give it a little bit more body to the sandwich, a little bit more thickness of meat. And as I go, then the next slices I lay over top will be unfolded. They'll just drape over the uh, edge of the, the bread a little bit. And there we go. There's the first one covered in turkey. There's the second one covered in turkey. There's a third one covered in turkey. And the last one covered in turkey. Okay. Now we've got the meat on the sandwich. We're going to add some cheese. I, I like cheddar cheese, provolone is good, uh, American cheese would be fine, whatever your favorite choice is. You don't have to worry about it so much. Uh, and then just drape your cheese over top of the turkey, like so. going to take a little tomato, put a slice of tomato over top of it like so, and I'm going to take some fried onions. These are just regular fried onions, okay, French fried onions. I'm going to sprinkle them over the top of it a little bit, enough to add some crunch and crispy to it. These can be purchased in a can or a package at most grocery stores or dollar type stores. Uh, 
you want to try and cover as much of the sandwich with it as you can. You may need to go back and add a little bit to cover everything. You may need to move them around to make it cover everything like you want. But basically what you're doing is you're garnishing the top with the onions. Now you can also use real onion if you want to. It'll somewhat caramelize, but unfortunately we don't leave it in the oven long enough to let it really caramelize good. That's why I like to use the French fried onions. They add the onion taste. Then you take some spices. Now I like a little salt and pepper. So what I do is I salt it. And I pepper it. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic salt. Easy does it on the garlic salt because it can get a little overwhelming if you're not careful. Just kind of a dusting of the sandwich. And I'm going to use some seasoned salt. Uh, this adds a little color to it and a little taste as well. It's got a multitude of spices in it. And I, to make it look a little prettier, I'm going to put a little bit of oregano on it. It also adds a little flavor. And voila, we have that done. Now we're going to put it back in the oven one more time at 450 degrees on broil. Okay, and let it sit for about five minutes or so until the cheese melts well and things start to cook. The turkey kind of uh, gets a little bit toasty around the edge. Okay folks, these have been in here for about four or five minutes now. The cheese is melted. The onion chips have started to turn brown. Okay. This was at a 450 degree broiler oven. I've got everything turned off now and I'm ready to pull these out and put them on plates. Uh, I like to serve mine with a little side of, oh, potato chips or Fritos. These are going to be hot, so use a spatula when you pull them off. Okay. And just slide them onto a plate. And there's what you've got when you get done. Isn't that beautiful? And it tastes great. You would not believe the smell in my kitchen right now from this. This is just smells awesome. I'm going to... Take the other two off and put them on plates, and we're going to go eat. Now you'll notice there was a couple onion chips were left on the, the pastry tray. I'm just going to scoop those up and throw them on top of a sandwich. They aren't hurt. And that is going to taste just awesome. A great light lunch. Just takes a few minutes to make, and it tastes great. Not very heavy. It's actually a very light lunch. I want you all to try this and enjoy. Very simple and easy to do. Thank you. Please subscribe to my videos and enjoy.